This is an awesome drying rack that was recently shared by Raymond in the MakerPipe community, and today we're going to be talking about this build and highlighting some cool things that he incorporated into it. Like I said, this is meant to be a drying rack. I don't know exactly what plant this is. I tried to use like a reverse image search, and it said sage plants. I don't know if that's true or not, but that would make sense because I think you have to dry out sage uh, whenever you you know finish growing it and you harvest it. But this is really cool, and a lot of cool things in here, even if you're not making a drying rack, a lot of cool techniques you can incorporate into whatever it is that you are making. And I really love the use of Unistruct combined with EMT Conduit. Because if you don't know, you know, we like to build with EMT Conduit and so does our community. And we make connectors for building with EMT Conduit. That's uh, these here that we'll see and highlight throughout the build. But what's really cool is we see uh, a combination of materials in this. Along with the EMT Conduit, Raymond used some Unistrut and some really cool brackets to create this base for this drying rack, which is really awesome and not something that we've seen really before, not that I know of at least. And this is really cool. And essentially just use some Unistrut with some of the hardware that you can get off the shelf, just the normal, you know, like T brackets and the 90 degree brackets, as well as some, it looks like some 45 degree brackets as well. And what's really cool and what I don't know exactly where he got these or if he modified just, you know, the inexpensive brackets that you can get for Unistrut, but he's got some of the split ring riser clamps for EMT conduit, and those are connected to these Unistrut brackets, and he's building off of those uh, in a couple different ways. He's got the verticals attached here, and then it looks like he's got some angled uh, braces uh, that he plans to add some empty conduit to go from those riser clamps down there all the way up to this beam that runs down the middle of the EMT conduit part of the frame, and then he can connect with maker pipe up there. So this is really cool, really unique, and not something that we've seen before, like I said, and just a really awesome build. But essentially, we'll kind of break this down, and we'll start uh, with the EMT conduit verticals here that go up, because that's where we just left off from the base down there. And essentially, it looks like uh, there is, what, five verticals going up, and it's just these five verticals going up on both sides, and then there's one in the middle. So essentially four verticals, two on each side, and then one in the middle. And again, we saw where those were clamped down there. But then up here, he's got the a maker pipe adjustable angle connector, and that is what's grabbing onto this three quarter inch EMT conduit. And that is what's holding uh, the angled uh, pieces of conduit here in this drying rack. That's what's holding that and kind of connecting everything to the base down there. So essentially the maker pipe adjustable angle connector, he's got four of those attaching to the drying rack. And then essentially he's got, let's see, is that a, oh, that's also adjustable angle connector down there. So there's five adjustable angle connectors for that. And then essentially from there, he just kind of built out the rest of the frame. So as we looked at earlier, there's one ridge pole that goes from front to back there. And then it looks like he's using the maker pipe 90 degree corner connection and he's just using a bunch of those to create this v-shaped drying rack going all the way down just a bunch of those 90 degree connectors and it looks like for the actual main part of the drying rack frame he's using half inch empty conduit because if you look closely you'll see the black adapter shims there that are used to adapt our three quarter inch connectors to half inch empty conduit that's a good way to save money in your build and essentially he's got half inch empty conduit coming out of each side of those 90 degree connectors and those are just extending up here to create this v shape and he's got the same design going all the way down and then he's just using the maker pipe nine or sorry the maker pipe T connector to grab on to this top ridge pole uh, on both sides just running from front to back and it's just a bunch of the maker pipe T connectors to add those ribs and just essentially attach to those bars going all the way down and these bars are what is supporting this hardware cloth that he's got attached to the frame and we don't really get a close up of how he attached that but there's a ton of really easy and inexpensive ways you could do that i like to use metal zip ties because they're not too expensive and they really hold up well in situations like this when they're outside so i imagine he probably used you know something like metal zip ties or maybe even the classic nylon zip ties and or you know metal wire or they could not be attached at all it could just be resting in there in the frame so he could take those off we don't know entirely but you know really simple ways to do that but overall it's a really cool frame a lot of really unique and awesome and clever things incorporated into this and we love seeing it so thanks so much raymond for sharing this if you want to see more ideas like this check out the maker pipe community or our youtube channel we share ideas and builds from our community all the time and we hope you enjoy them if you do leave a like and consider subscribing thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next one